Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Allison here. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and please forgive the lighting right now. I am at the end of the day. It's seven o'clock at night and oh, I'm trying to like sit down and I'm not doing a very good job. I'm sorry. So I had to record this earlier in the day so I had better lighting and you guys, many of you know, I like to use natural light because it really shows how you're going to look in the real world. If I use these beautiful round lights that all these girls use on videos, the makeup does not look the same when you go into a venue or outside and some people actually don't like it because the color can be misleading and you could be more yellow outside and then your face looks really white. It's really not okay. But I wanted to give you a heads up on why I use the light. I've explained this in other videos, but I like to use this light in my kitchen. So it's dark right now, but I wanted to put this video together because a lot of you asked me to show how to use, to do this look specifically. I posted some of these pictures of this look last week. I went to my friend Ruby's birthday party and um, I wanted to do something very like Latina, very like shimmery with a good winged eyeliner. I wanted to be full vamp, nude lips, like I just loved it. So you guys did too and asked me to do this. So I hope you enjoy and if you have any questions about this, how to do this look, please comment below and make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of stuff coming in the next few weeks and I want to share all of it with you guys. And like always, I love you guys and uh, that's it. I don't know what else to say. I have the hardest time finishing these videos. I just don't know ever how to end them without sounding like a weirdo. <laughs> but whatever. I'll just be myself. I'm weird. Whatever. All right. Well, enjoy. Thank you guys. All right. This is a tapered shadow brush. You see it's nice and there's product on it still. Did you see that? Um, uh, it's like nice flat. I, I wanted to do this wider brush because I wanted to sweep it over the entire lid. Under the crease, obviously, right here. I hope you can see this. This guy right here. I hope you can see this, please, Lord. All right. It's like, a, it's a beautiful matte dark chocolate color. It's just gorgeous. So you're going to come right in to the into the crease and right above the lash line. Just to give it a nice base cuz we're going to pack on the dark color in a second. And now we're going to come back in with that tapered brush and we're going to come down. We're going to come down to the bottom row. This dark chocolate right here is another like darker color, but it's a little bit darker than the other one from earlier and then this bad boy is gonna put it right there we're gonna we're gonna place it right in the outer part of the eye all right now she's ready she's ready for the next step another clean like blender brush where are you you see this really pretty shimmer color right here? All right, now we're gonna put it over the lid. We're gonna blend it into the brown a little bit. This is why, again, you'll see, you're probably seeing <laughs> why I do my foundation and my concealer after because it gets messy. There's just, with all the glittery and shimmery shadows, it, there's just so much fallout. Now we're going to come in with the creme de la creme, the color that I like fell in love with and probably the reason why I bought this palette. So there's this beautiful like mm, shimmery penny colored eyeshadow with the same brush from before. She's going to go right in the center of the lid. Then over that color. <laughs> Over that color is going to be this beautiful top um, middle gold color. We're going to put it right over because I really want that gold to shine through like it needs to be there. Bam. She is there. 
So we're gonna go in with our full blender brush again. And we're gonna come in with this guy again. This like pretty creamy shimmer color. She's gonna go right into the, the corner of the eye. And I'm gonna come in with my Jaclyn Hill highlighter, Paseco Pop. Her color names are so hilarious to me. I'm gonna put it right there and I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eye. This color is just gorgeous. It's this golden, <sighs> creamy highlighter. Just gets the job done, man. And there's that. And so then I like to take a, a makeup wipe and I clean up under the eye because this is going to have its own color after I do my concealer. All right, now time is for foundation. So I'm gonna come in with my Born This Way full coverage um, foundation. I use the color Light Beige and my beautiful pink beauty blender, and we're gonna put it all over. This makeup and foundation is not for the faint of heart. So if you're not used to a full coverage foundation, this is not for you and maybe a mineral foundation or something with just a lighter coverage will be better for you. And using a primer is super, super important with this foundation. But today I use the Nivea Men's Face Balm. <laughs> it's awesome. I've shown it before in other videos and it's like $5 a bottle. So that's a win. All right, concealer. Today we're going to use the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. I apply it with my ring finger. All right, let me come back in with my Beauty Blender. <laughs> this is crazy. It's, it's so weird. Really quick to like see yourself straight on. Wow. <laughs> Foundation does its job. It just covers up everything. All right, and now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I actually just got this and I really was excited to show you guys about it because I've been using it for about a week and a half now. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and they designed it off an X-Acto knife because that's how exact they want it. You want your brows to be there, but not be over the top. I don't use brow dip because I want my brows to look like their actual brows and super dark, like thick brows do not look good on me at all. I use in the color number three. All right, there you go. And so I like to just give myself little tiny hairs in the thicker part of my brows. And you see how fast my my strokes are. I like this pencil a lot because she is very waterproof, and um, the little brush at the end is a lot softer than my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, so it doesn't take all my product off when I use it. Then I come in with an angle brush, and I go in with my. Anastasia Beverly Hills um, powder contour kit and I use just the banana color the banana powder right in the middle to help define my brows underneath and a little bit above too after I do my brows then I like to bake in my um, concealer so baking a lot of people are gonna see a lot of different things on Instagram and I mean everywhere. You're just gonna see it everywhere. So I use this beautiful, I don't have the lid right now, okay. So it's La Femme by Hollywood. Um, this is their banana powder, and I got this on Amazon, and I really, really like it. So I just take my black beauty blender, because it's a little bit um, tougher, it's a harder sponge, and then I place the powder under my eye. Basically wherever my concealer went, I'm gonna hang, put it there.
And when I say a little, I mean a lot. There you go. Oh, beautiful, right? Beautiful. All right, I set a timer on my phone or on my iPad for just like 10 minutes. If I go past 10 minutes, then the, con the powder kind of like gels up with the concealer and then you have a big mess. So I'm gonna go back in with my powder contour kit. I'm gonna go in with the beautiful bronzy color in this Luxie, Luxie, I think it's, it's a tapered highlighter brush, but I like it. Whatever, man. So I'm gonna contour, let's bring from the bone right here. You feel the bone, you're gonna feel like the, it, go, it sinks in by your ear. You start right there and you bring it down. And then we're gonna come up over by the hairline because mama's got a big old forehead. Whatever, it is what it is. I have my dad's forehead, I've accepted it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go along the hairline because it helps my forehead look a little less massive. <laughs> oh, forehead, you are lovely. <laughs> So my Maron um, tapered brush, this actually came inside of a student stage makeup kit and I love it so much, but Maron sells it as well. I will put the information about it below. I'm going to come in with my Morphe gel liner. I love this stuff. Um, I also use a Sephora, um, a Sephora brand one as well, it's waterproof. And honestly, I would probably recommend doing a waterproof if you're doing a wedding or something like that because you want it to stay where you are and you, if you start crying, it needs to stay there. All right, so we're gonna give ourselves a nice little medium, a large wing. I mean medium, a medium, I've made it bigger. So I like to come in from the corner. I start from the outside and stroke down. See it? There it goes. And then I'm gonna come in underneath as well, guys. So right along the uh, lash line, I don't want any gaps, so I'm gonna come in underneath and place the color there too. There she is. And there's my wing and there she is all right I think my timer I have three minutes but you know what I'm done I'm good sometimes you're just like I need to be done with it let's just do it all right so I'm gonna come in with my elite morphe e2 they just discontinued this um, brand of br or line of brushes but they came out with the elite 2 um, system that has like this like beautiful maroon top instead of the white and I'm excited to, to purchase some of those um, I actually got these when they were going on like on clearance and I got this brush for like three dollars <laughs> so you know Morphe is just an amazing deal no matter how you swing it whether you're paying full price or um, you, there's discount codes too of different like youtubers that put out codes so I always end up finding one of them and save myself some money so we're gonna come in, we're gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna start and move up. So I'm gonna blend in this bad boy and let's blend in the contour. So when I get to the contour on my cheek, I do like small wispy brush strokes. I don't wanna like push my, my, um, my contour all over the place because then it starts looking really muddy and looks gross. Okay. So then when I get done with that, I like to just like brush my hand on my brush just to make sure I don't have, or on a clean towel, just to make sure I don't have any of the contour color left on my brush as I continue to blend in my baking. All right, time to highlight, highlight. All right, so we're gonna come in. Oh, it's like blinding people. <laughs> it was showing a light all over the wall of my thing. So we're gonna come in with my Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop 
um, full face palette and I just love this palette so much. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This palette looks good on everybody. It is awesome. So I'm gonna come in with Prosecco Pop because that's the color I did on my inside corner and it's my favorite. It's just gorgeous. I'm more of an olive um, skin base, so it just looks awesome every time. Now this is legit highlighter, so build up slowly. And then I only bring my highlighter up to the highest point of my eyebrow. If you start bringing it all the way over, you're just gonna make yourself look really, really greasy. <laughs> highlighter, like, placing your highlighter correctly is really important. So I also only go to the middle part of my eye. I don't go any farther than that as I like hit myself. So she goes right to right there. For blush, I come in, I like angled uh, brush, blush, blush, brushes, blush, brush, blush, <laughs> blush, it's a blush brush, right? Whatever. This is what I'm going to use. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come in, I'm going to use the very beautiful Rose Spritz um, blush that's on the same Champagne Pop um, color. And it is a blush that has a good amount of shimmer in it. And I love it. It's pretty. It's very summer. I like to smile, show where my apples are, and then I gently drag it towards up the cheek in an angle. And this is such a pigmented color that less is more. So if I put a little bit too much, I'll just come in with my big Elite 2 brush and blend it in a little bit more. Just soft strokes up into, into the highlighter because you don't want your highlighter to be mixing in really with your blush below. And then I come in with the same brush and I'm gonna come in to the, highlight, the bronzer that she has on here, which is called Amaretto. And I go in over my contour a little bit, gently. And just gently over my br my blush area. And somebody was really sweet and said that I look like Jennifer Lopez when I did this look. And I was super honored by that, by the way. But um, Jennifer Lopez always makes sure that her makeup looks very blended and she looks very bronzy all the time but never patchy. I did use a little bit of my 12S um, Morphe palette um, on this look, and there's this beautiful like foiled color right here. One in the little 12S one, she is a little bit more on the maroon side. Dropping stuff again. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with my beautiful little liner brush, and we're gonna grab some of that product. We're gonna go under the lash line again. And then I'm gonna clean off the brush with just my, I just wipe it over my makeup um, wipe. And we're gonna grab some of that gold color that was in the top middle part of the Morphe, um, the big palette. I'm brain farting on names right now. And I wish they would just name all of their colors because it make things so much easier. Out into the middle, but not all the way across. I really want this color to look very Almost like a sunset. Mm-hmm, yep. Then to finish off the the eyeshadow completely, we'll go back in with the um, with the Prosecco Pop and with my E24 brush. And voila. All right, and then we're gonna finish off our lashes with my wonderful, it's a long story, um, Arbonne found, um, Black Mascara that I have been braving about on Instagram because it is so good and it's awesome.
All right, so I did my other half of my face and now I wanted to like apply the lips. And so I did also foundation over the lips as well to just give me a nice like based in my lipstick. So today I was using my Jeffree Star um, Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Mannequin. I will also include some colors below other options um, if you want to try a different company. So I applied this all over. So I did it already but I like to do, I let it dry and then put another application on it. I also put a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bow and on the bottom of my lip as well just to give it a nice highlight to the middle parts of my lips which is the thickest part it really makes your lips look really nice and full I dry and then i'm going to come in with my lorac um lip luster cream and they don't sell this specific um uh, formula anymore but lorac sells another kind of liquid lip luster and it's a matte they're matte finish. Um, they had no shimmer or anything in them and they're wonderful to put over a um, <laughs> liquid lipstick. Huh. And it makes your lip lipstick last all night too. So even when you're eating, it's not going to all fall off. All right. Now that everything is all done, I'm going to come in with, I'm, I lost it, sorry. I'm coming in with my Urban Decay um, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is wonderful. It really keeps my makeup all right where it's supposed to stay. And even if I'm like wiping away a tear at a beautiful wedding, it will not let my makeup move all over the place. <sighs> Gently close, do not like scrunch your eyes because it won't hit all the parts of your face and you don't want that. And we're done so I hope that you guys liked this look and that you can recreate it as well I will be posting all of the information every brush that I used every product that I use below and then you guys can comment and leave any questions that you may have and I'll answer all of them so thank you so much guys